This video is important for the TradingView members out there with a paid plan, or even those who are looking to get a paid plan and want to ensure they're taking advantage of the parallel chart connection feature. So as you can see here, we are starting this video off on tradingview.com slash pricing. We've got plans for every level of ambition, the essential plan, plus plan and premium plan. And as you scroll down, you will see all of the features and capabilities and research tools that are available to you when you get your specific plan. And I would encourage you all to click show all features because of the detail that goes into these features. And you also want to ensure you know just how much you're getting with your TradingView plan. But first of all, let's get back to parallel chart connections and what this feature means and why it's so important. Now we are recording this video with a premium plan and we are on Google Chrome. This means that as we open up 50 chart tabs on our Google Chrome browser, that is the maximum number of charts we can have open at once. Each chart that we open as a tab or a new browser counts as a parallel chart connection. In fact, if we were to open up charts even on the desktop app or mobile device, those also count toward this 50 parallel chart connection maximum amount. But in this video, we want to show you how that looks on our computer utilizing a browser. So what we're going to do here is switch our view quickly so you can see 50 chart tabs open in one browser. And this will really show you how this works. And as you can see, we now have switched our view to show you our Chrome browser, which if you look closely up here at the top, all of these tabs are open showing different charts. Now remember, we have a premium plan so we can open up 50 parallel chart connections. All of these tabs are charts, as we mentioned, and each tab counts toward our parallel chart connection count. Even if we had charts open on our mobile device or the desktop app, they still technically count toward our total chart connection amount. So the key is to create a process, a workflow, and a workstation that does not exceed this parallel chart connection amount. But also what's very important to discuss is why this matters so much. Well, this layout is the layout we're going to use for this video. We like this layout for its simplicity. As you can see here, it even says Steph's layout. It's a simple background, got this blue line. If we wanted to utilize candlesticks, or maybe we wanted to add some other features to it, we naturally could by right clicking and going to settings and customizing this to our exact look and feel. We've got videos all over our channel and articles in our help center about creating a beautiful chart for your needs. But now that we have our layout saved and our chart tabs open, well, imagine we have a portfolio. And in our portfolio, we have Bitcoin. Well, we can always come to this chart tab to see Bitcoin. Let's click this chart tab. Perhaps we hold USDJPY. We can always come to this chart tab to see USDJPY. If we click this chart tab, we've got the dollar index. We can always come to this chart tab to see the dollar index. We've got Apple, another chart of Apple, Tesla, the NASDAQ 100, Bitcoin again, you're starting to get the idea. If you follow a lot of symbols and you love your layout, you can utilize the parallel chart connections to create the most ideal workstation for you and your exact needs. So it's a really wonderful way, especially if you have a watch list that you love or that you've put a lot of time into or a specific portfolio to make it so that your chart tabs show all of your favorite symbols and you take advantage of all of the parallel chart connections available to you and ensuring that they open up on the layout of your exact choice. Now, there's some other great capabilities about this feature as well related to technical analysis, research and multiple time frame analysis. Let us just quickly show you a research capability. We have Bitcoin open on this chart here and we have Bitcoin open on this chart here. Let's actually change this to a weekly chart. So it's a little bit longer 
term. Let's go back to the daily chart in our chart tab, and let's just draw a line here on what we think might be some sort of resistance or downward price action to pay close attention to. So we've drawn this on this chart of Bitcoin. But recall, we have another chart open on a weekly basis and our drawing still appeared right here. So we can start to do multiple time frame analysis across all of our favorite symbols, utilizing the layout of our choice. And we can quickly switch between tabs to see these drawings and to see these time frames, daily chart, weekly chart. The choice is ours. Or for example, if you wanted to, you could really go deep here. And what you could do is you could open up more than two tabs. You could have, say, up to 50 tabs, all of the same symbol with different time frames or features that you specifically want to highlight. Here's Apple. The market just closed. We are recording this video from New York City. In fact, why don't we go to a one minute chart? This blue shaded area means it's after hours trading. Let's make sure we adjust this accordingly. So now we've got Apple on a one minute chart watching the after hours market. If we go back to our other Apple chart, we've got a moving average here, white line, and Apple on a daily chart as the blue line. And so now we can quickly see the one minute price action of Apple and flip between the longer term context on the daily chart. Because you may see this move of Apple and think, wow, that is a significant move. Something's happening. It's active. It's trading the after hours. But you can quickly go back to your longer firm chart and be reminded that in the grand scheme of things, that's not that big of a move. So you can be really creative with the way you use your parallel chart connections and in accordance with your specific layouts. Now, one thing we definitely want to show you, however, is what happens when you open up too many charts. This is quite important. What happens if you open up too many charts? So remember, this is a premium plan. So we have 50 charts that we can open. So what happens when we open up 50 charts? You saw there that we just added several more charts to our tab. We exceeded the 50 plan amount. You can see that. Well, this pop-up appears. And now we're going to explain what this pop-up means and how you can understand it. First of all, it says we've closed this connection. Well, it's been closed because we exceeded our 50 chart parallel connection limit. We're also seeing a recommended plan. We can get an expert plan and get up to 80 parallel chart connections as well. We had to turn this connection off because it looks like you've exceeded your plan's limits. Good news though, you can always upgrade if you want to connect more stuff to us. The learn more button will open up the help center and we can read more about this as well to get more details, which will be quite helpful if we want to learn more about this feature or get a tip. For example, there's a great tip here. Please note you can optimize your connections using, using multiple chart layouts. Essential users can open two charts per tab. Plus users can open up four charts and premium users can open up eight charts per tab. So that's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a really great feature. If we don't want to get more connections, we can always click restore connection, which will then close another chart up here in this list. But what you can do is utilize your multiple chart layout to look at two symbols at once. And this does not count against your parallel chart connection limit. So take advantage of the pair of the multiple chart layout feature within the context of parallel chart connections, which makes it a wonderful tool for doing the research you need across different markets, asset classes, and symbols. And so when you're ready, head to the pricing page and find the parallel chart connection amount that's right for you. Because ultimately, when it comes to researching markets and following the symbols you care about, and also doing drawings across multiple time frame analysis, this is the important feature to understand at a deep, deep level. Now, we hope this video helped you. Please subscribe. Leave us a comment below and check out our help center where we cover all of the topics mentioned in this video from drawing tools to multiple layouts and more. Thank you again for watching.